everybody. It's Friday night. Sad, sad day is upon us. Well, it's sad, but also exciting. I'll roll my window up there. It's sad for me because Ashley and Alicia moved today. I've been so lucky to be able to just have to drive like 10 minutes at the most if I want to see them and now it's gonna be more like a little over an hour if there's no traffic I bawled my eyes out when they told me just because that's tough to know like you have to actually put thought and time into like going to see each other but I am so excited for them and their place is beautiful and I have loved just like watching this whole process come to be that's the exciting part it's gonna be okay gonna be okay <laughs> anyways so tonight is their first night in their place and they were like you should come spend the night and i was like oh my gosh yes since it's gonna be a long drive got my uh trusty sidekick with me a venti i soy caramel macchiato you know how i do sorry that my glasses are all like shiny but like you can't see at night when i drive without them so uh, safety first <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do you guys know that song? Do you know that song? If you Veggie Tail, you're cool. Veggie Tail, Veggie Tail, Veggie Tail. Mm. I made it to the new place. It's beautiful. Like that. <laughs> we were just hanging out, being girls. I was watching Alicia do her makeup, and I was like, I feel like the like nerdy girl coming to the popular girls and being like, teach me your ways. But I never do my makeup in general. But I think part of it is because like I don't know, I don't know the ways. So Alicia was like, uh, I'll do your makeup, and I was like, uh, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Now I am ruined forever enjoying my own makeup because uh, I look like I just got my makeup professionally done, which I did because Lee does like a professional. Definitely gotta step up my game and uh, learn what to do. I'll watch this video over and over and like take note. Be like, okay, then she did this, then she did this. It looks good, huh? Currently at Lowe's searching for plants for the new place. And uh, so far this is what's going on. Can't even see them. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. So fun, like, when you move or something, it's like everything's new and you get to just like create. So it's fun being a part of this and watching them like pick plants and trash cans and everything. Here we find a wild Ashley roaming through the wilderness of sheets. Just looking for her, her, uh, her prey. <laughs> we have stopped to eat and we stopped at one of my favorite places ever. It's called Sharky's and when I used to nanny, we would go here all the time. And I always get naked chicken pita bowl with tofu. And beautiful. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, gorgeous. Ashley, what'd you get? I got half chicken power plate mm. and then tea. Uh, Papa, what'd you get? <laughs> Is it a party in your mouth? <laughs> you got good vibes? My new jacket. Good vibes. Wyatt loves Ashley. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear it. Tell them where you're placed. I don't wanna. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am home. We just kind of ran some errands and hung out the rest of the day. Just wanted to end this vlog, but before I do, I'm gonna answer a question for Taryn Talks. Kaylee Krasinski asked, 
if I was ever bullied and how did I get through it, I actually was a little bit in high school. A group of girls didn't, um, I would not say liked me. One of the things they always made fun of me about was my teeth. I had like really crooked teeth when I was little. They would like get a picture of my face and crop it and like blow it up so it was just my teeth. It would be like, hey everybody, look, it's the girl with the blank blank teeth and just like say stuff about it and um, that used to like really affect me. They also would say I was fat or say like nobody would love me, stuff like that and I didn't really tell anybody about it which I think is the first mistake if you feel like you are getting bullied. I think that it is really important to let people around you know that someone is hurting you and even if you feel like it's stupid what they're saying. If you feel like someone is affecting you, you should let someone know and talk to your friends about it and your family. And if it's crossing a line past just like people just being dumb and saying things, then you need to make people aware of it um, because that should not be happening. My advice is you keep doing you. And honestly, if you're confident in yourself and you love yourself for who you are, it doesn't really matter what anybody else has to say. If you remain nice and kind, even in the midst of people being the way they are, that does not mean sitting back if injustice is being done. But if people are just being stupid and saying stuff about you, just being like true to who you are so that in the end, people will look back and be like, wow, those people suck. And that was cool that she like remained true to who she says she is. But yeah, I don't, I don't understand bullying. I don't understand why people say the things they do say to each other. And I am so, so incredibly sorry that people have been mean to you. And um, from the depths of my heart, I just encourage you, girl, like don't let it shake who you are. I think that God makes us each so unique and so special. And um, sometimes people in this world try to make us forget that, but don't forget it because you are amazing and you are beautiful and you are wonderful. And I just really hope that you are able to get through this a stronger person. I know I definitely did. Yeah, and I mean, let's all just be nice to each other. Like, why can't we be nice to each other? I don't get it. It's not that hard to be nice to someone, you know? Ugh. It frustrates me. I'm gonna say goodnight and I am so sad. I have to wash off my makeup. And let's be real, I'm not gonna be able to do this again tomorrow. So Alicia, thank you for making me beautiful today and ruining my face for every other day. I love each and every one of you and I just wanna say thank you for watching these videos. Leave a question if you have it for next time and stay tuned. Bye. Mwah.